Hey everyone, we'll hop right into the battles here. Super excited to share this one with you guys. Uh, watch for Rayquaza taking out uh, Sylveon. Ground on, going for Persepius Blades there. Gets a shield from the ground on. Ground on is going to be firing a move. Just a sound to him, we'll call the bait. Uh, go for another Persepius Blades. And if they shield this, oh, they let it go. One shots, pretty much. And in the back, they got a Dial Dialga. So we're gonna go for another Blades here. And they shield that up. Now I switch into my Rayquaza. And my thought here is that I will shield the first Iron Head and then go for the Breaking Swipe. And that's gonna do a good chunk of damage and it's gonna drop their attack. They switch out into Mewtwo, so that's fine by me. Go for another Breaking Swipe here. This is gonna take them a little bit below half health drops their attack and now I get taken out by the side strike I bring in my own Mewtwo and go for another side strike here or first one this is going to take out their Mewtwo no need to go for the shadow ball because they were already low enough health farm down the Dialga and that's a good game into the next match here you got ground on into Hydreigon and uh, gonna go for Persepius Blades here right off the start and they let that go Big boom, almost one shots. Now I'm gonna let this move go, it's just Dark Pulse. And I farm down and now I got another move loaded here. They bring in uh, Metagross, so I go for another Blades. They shield that up and I switch into Mewtwo. Going to shield up the Meter Mash and then go for a Shadow Ball. Do a little bit of over farm there, no need to throw right away. Gets their last shield. And I'm almost at another Shadow Ball, so I'm going to shield up the next Meteor Mash. Farm up a little bit extra again, and go for a Shadow Ball. This will take out the Metagross. And in the back, they've got a Sylveon, so I'm going to fire off a uh, Psy Strike here. And then I dip into uh, my Rayquaza. The reasoning for this is that I didn't want them to farm me down with the Mewtwo. And then have a bunch of energy loaded for my other Pokemon. So I figured if I can get to it, even one brutal swing, I would drop their attack and I would stand a better chance um, trying to farm them down the rest of the way. But I was able to get to two and take them out. So good game to my opponent there. Now the mirror match here, and I go straight for the blades. They shield that. And then I believe I call, I shield this and it's just fire punch. And now they're at another move. So I was like, okay, well, this is gonna be the blade. So I shield that. Now I'm down both shields. They still have shield. I go for another blades. They do shield that. So now all shields are down and they get to another move. I felt like this was gonna take me out, but somehow I live it. And they decide to catch the blades on Melmetal. Boom, almost one shots again. And in the back, they've got Dialga. So they were like, Double weak to ground on and then ground on itself. So I'm able to get to a shadow ball there, does a good chunk. Uh, their iron head will be taking me out. Or not quite, sorry. I uh, am able to reach the side strike here. So that takes out the Dialga and in the back they've got the ground on come back in. So I go with my uh, Rayquaza here because it shouldn't matter what they throw, it's not going to one shot me and I'll be able to get to a breaking swipe and take out their ground on. So that's another good game. This team, uh, as of right now making the video, I am 10 and 0 running it. Yeah, it's awesome, a lot of fun. I feel like I'm gonna climb a lot. You guys can see in the first battle there, I'm sitting right around 1940, I think, 1945. And at the end of this video, I've climbed up to 2099, so almost 2100. So there's a big, Blades land on their Mewtwo, almost takes it out in one shot again, doesn't quite... They let that one go too, which really surprised me. I figured that they'd for sure think that I was going for another Blades. And now they got a, an Oveltal in the back. And my original thought was, how in the world am I going to win this? They've got both shields. They've got uh, a Veltal with a lot of health. I'm able to get one shield there. So I bring in my Rayquaza and I let the first Dark Pulse go and now I'm going to shield up the next Dark Pulse. 
trying to get to a breaking swipe. So I get to that, I'm gonna fire this off. They shield that up, their attack drops, and I switch into my ground on, catch the Dark Pulse, does almost no damage. They bring back in their Guard Trump, get to a Fire Punch, and now I should be able to get to another Fire Punch and take out the Veltal. So that's another good game. Well played to my opponent. Some heads up uh, using of energy and switching there. So that's 5 0 there in that one. We'll skip through the catching of the thing there. So I moved up to 20, uh, 27. And now into the next set of five here, you got ground on into Mewtwo. Shield up the side strike and then fire off the blades. They let that go, so that one shots their Mewtwo. And here they bring in Kyogre and I go for another blades. <laughs> and they let that go too. Just banging people all over the place here. Uh, let the Surf go through on my Mewtwo, and now I'm going to go for a Psy Strike. They let that go, and in the back they've got Metagross. So I'm able to get to the Shadow Ball. This should be grabbing a shield or it's game over. So that grabs their first shield. Can't quite get to another move. Bring in Rayquaza, and I'm going to let the first move go through. Does uh, a little bit more than half health. And I'm basically just letting them use their energy, I'm using Rayquaza to um, take all their moves. Now here, I feel like I need to get to two Fire Punches and hoping that they shield the first one because then I can probably make a Blades, but they let that go. So now I have to fire off the next one. I undercharge it. They do shield that one and I'm able to farm down with a sliver of health. Close match there, well played. Um, ground on into Muck, and I go for the blades. They're gonna shield this or it'll one shot them. So they shield that up. And here they go for a Dark Pulse. I decide to let it go. It doesn't do very much damage actually, and I'm able to reach another blades. And they shield that one up as well. So here they get to a Dark Pulse. I'm gonna shield this up save some energy. At this point I'm kind of wondering what they've got in the back because they hadn't switched out so I felt like they're probably weak to ground on somewhere in the back and I wanted to save some health. So they switch into Lugia and I answer with my Mewtwo. They got to a move way too fast so I let the sky attack go through. Uh, get to a shadow ball here. I'm gonna fire that off. Takes out the Lugia and they bring back in the Muck. Just gonna let this go. Didn't quite get to a side strike but they dump their energy so here i bring in my rayquaza and there you have it in the back they've got uh, garchomp so they just give up the match ground on into kyogre i decided to go with rayquaza because the waterfalls and surfs are not going to do much damage i'm able to get to a breaking swipe just before they get to a move and i decided to call this as a surf and sure enough it was. So now they bring in their Metagross. Gonna go for a breaking swipe. Drops their attack. And I think I just let this go. Yeah, I just I just let that go. Bring my ground on back in. Farming up here. And I'm at the point I can just go for a fire punch. So I shield up the meteor mash. Go for a fire punch. And I was trying to throw um in enough time that I thought maybe they would shield, but they let it go, so that's fine. Get to a Blades, take out the Kyogre, and now, again, I'm like, oh man, well, how am I gonna win this game? Got a Veltal, get their last shield with a Fire Punch, so that's big. So I say, okay, I'm gonna sacrifice Mewtwo. I should live this Dark Pulse and get to a uh, Shadow Ball. Just get to the Shadow Ball here before I'm taken out. This'll do a nice chunk chip damage. And then I'm gonna shield up this Dark Pulse. Then they're gonna be at back to back. So I should live this. And I'm at a little bit more than one Fire Punch. So two should take it out. So I fire off the first one and I'm just able to get to the second one. 
and that's a good game. So another uh, another very close game there, some good energy management and realizing that I need to sacrifice Mewtwo in order to be able to win that match. So here I felt like I make, make a mistake. I don't shield the first side strike, normally I do. Um, for some reason I just clicked not now or something, whatever I clicked. But they shield the first uh, blades. So I'm counting and I switch in to catch the side strike. And here I can't quite get to the shadow ball uh, before they throw another move. So I do shield it up, respecting that it could be a shadow ball. Uh, they just side strike bait me there, but that's okay. They let that go through and it takes them out. So now they've got Dragonite, go for a side strike. This will either grab the shield or do a huge chunk of damage. So here I'm just gonna let this go. I'm glad they threw there because now they should be a little bit more energy dry when I bring in my Rayquaza. So bring in Rayquaza, get to the breaking swipe and this will take out the Dragonite. And in the back, they've got ground on. So this is actually a good matchup still for me too, because uh, they can't really do much to me and breaking swipe with Dragon Tail really starts to chunk and add up. As you can see there, they already got them into the deep red. They do decide to throw the blades, which surprised me a bit, but I blocked it anyways and I'm at another breaking swipe. I just figured safe, be safe, block it up, uh, get to another move and I don't need to bring ground on back in. So here you got Garchomp into Groundon. I'm able to get to a Blades, throw this off. They do shield this one up. So I switch into my Mewtwo to try to draw something else out. And thankfully, they decide to answer with uh, Togekiss and they don't block the first side strike. So I get to the next side strike and they do shield this one. So now I've got both their shields and their hardest answer for my Rayquaza out of the way. So I let that go through, bring in my um, ground on again, fire off a fire punch. That takes out the Togekiss. And now I think I call the bait here. Yeah, call the sound tomb, switch into Rayquaza, and I'm going to shield this sound tomb. As I was shielding, I was like, I bet they're gonna bait me. Yeah, sure enough, they did. But that's okay, I saved some health. Uh, on my Rayquaza with that. Able to get to back to back, or not back, not quite back to back, but two breaking swipes. So that's gonna drop the attack for the uh, Metagross. And I've got a Fire Punch loaded. So I farm up and I decided that what I needed to do is farm down completely and be able to throw the blades at their Garchomp, which is what I do, good game. And you can see there, that's another quick 5-0 set. So again, really fun. This team is, I'm hoping, gonna help me climb out of ace and uh, hope it can help you guys as well. Thanks for watching, leave a like or comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video, thanks.